Sit down right here, okay? And we're gonna enjoy some Bible. Don't you want to enjoy some Bible? So, you want to enjoy some Bible with me? We are at seven. Ready? <clears throat> and the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee thy sevens, the male and, the, and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Of fowls also of the air by sevens, the male and the female, to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth. Forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded man, commanded him. And Noah was six hundred years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in, and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood. Of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean, and of fowls and of everything that creepeth upon the earth. There went in two and two unto Noah into the ark, the male and the female, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fount fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the selfsame day entered, entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Josepheth and the sons of Noah and the, Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark. They and every beast after his kind and all the cattle after their kind and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. Hey, bless you. And they that went in, went in male and female of flesh, as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased, and bear unto bear up the ark, and it was lift up above the earth, and the waters prevailed, and were increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark went upon the face of the waters, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the mountains were covered. And all the flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of the fowl and of cattle, hey. and of beast, oh, no. and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, and every man. Hey. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle, and the creeping things.
and the fowl of the heaven. And they were destroyed from the earth, and Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. Right? And the waters prevailed upon the earth, and hundred and, hold on, hold on, we're almost done, fifty days. I know. I know you're thinking something, but you refuse to let me read. Oh no. I know. What kind of baby stuff? Right, girlfriend. Left, Dad. I prefer the left side. Let's see. Let's see if she can get through without it. Just in case. Be ready. Are you ready? Are we ready? Are we ready, friends? You ready? And God remembered Noah and every living thing, and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth, and the waters assuaged, awaged. The fountain also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained, and the waters returned from off the earth continually, and after the end of the hundred and fifty days the waters were abated, and the ark rested in the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, upon the on the seventeenth day of the month upon the mountains of Arat. And the waters decreased continually until the tenth month. In the tenth month of the first day of the month were the tops of the mountains seen. Were the tops of the mountains seen. Ugh. And it came to pass at the end of forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made, and he set, sent forth a raven which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. Also he sent forth a dove from him 
to see if the waters were abated from off the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest for the sole of her foot, and she wow. returned unto him into the ark, where the waters were on the face of the whole earth. Then he put forth his hand and took her and pulled her in unto him into the ark. And he stayed yet other seven days, and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello, girl. No, we are, we are elsewhere. We're in Battle Mountain. Hello. Yes, it's northern Nevada. It's six hours. Yeah, closer to Reno. Nope, it shines. Yep. There you go. Ooh, um, it's the same doctor that I was going to. Um, and so, um, we just went, uh, like, the, I know, I know. the week after she was born, and, and then, like, a weight check, but he said that he wouldn't need to see her again for two months, so. I think that one's in Elko. Um, the doctor we were going to is in um, Winnemucca at that Winnemucca Hospital. Okay. Thank you. Screening, which is the we have the ambulance in there. And I, they said bring this to your next doctor. They won't. Didn't get asked for anything. <sighs> and the dove came into him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off so no one knew that the waters were abated from off the earth. And he stayed yet other seven days and sent forth the dove, which returned not again unto him anymore. I know. I know. And it came to pass in the six hundred and first year, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from off the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark, and looked, and behold, the face of the ground was dry. Hey, what you want to do? What you want to do? Well, stay right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And in the second month, on the seven and twentieth day of the month, was the earth dried. And God spake unto Noah, saying, For go, go forth of the ark, thou and thy wife, and thy sons, and thy sons' wives with thee. Bring forth with, hey, what is it? Eh? Eh? Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee of all flesh, both of fowl and of cattle, and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that they may breed abundantly in the earth, and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. Here, come here. Come here. Do you want to sit higher? Do you want to sit higher? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, what is it? What is it? No, 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 no. no. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. You want some more milky? Yeah. Milky, huh? Look at that. Milky. Milky makes the world go round and round. And Noah went forth, and his sons and his wife, and his sons' wives with him. Every beast, every creeping thing, and every fowl, and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth, after their kinds went forth out of the earth, of the ark. And Noah builded an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more every li thing living as I have done. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. This is chapter 9. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of, of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea into your hand. And they delivered and are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. But flesh with, li with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require, <laughs> uh, not wives, lives, at the hand, Of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. And you, be you fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you. 
and with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl of the cattle and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of the, a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud, rainbow. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow, rainbow, shall be in the cloud, and I will look up upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah went that forth of the ark, where Shem, Ham, and Josepheth, and Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine, and was drunken. And he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his brethren without. And Shem, Ham, and Josepheth took a garment, and laid it upon both their shoulders, and went backward, and covered the nakedness of their father. And there faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine, and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Josepheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years. And all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. I think that was nine. Nope. Yeah, that was the end of nine. Oh. Got that? Oh, that's... She's just flipping me off. She's like, sure. I know. Looking at me like it's the end of the world is a milk fell out, huh?